Good morning and welcome to Year 3 Maths. This is Lesson 9. Our objective today is to find equivalent fractions. Let's start with a warm-up. What is the time on the clock? Have a look at questions 1 to 4. Pause the video while you work them out. The time is quarter to 12 or 11.45. Two fifths is 4. 0 0.3 is 3 tenths. You need to draw a line using a ruler that is halfway between 6 centimetres and 7 centimetres. The 7 is worth 7 tens. So in today's lesson, we're going to look at equivalent fractions. The word equivalent sounds a little bit like another word that we know. What about the first part of the word equivalent? Yes, equal. And equal has a lot to do with equivalent fractions. But can you tell me something about this fraction? What does the 4 mean and what does the 1 mean? So are you correct? Yes, the 4 is known as the denominator. This is how many equal parts there are. The 1 is the numerator and this is how many parts we are using. On a bar model, we often shade in the number of parts, the numerator. So here we're using a bar model to represent one quarter. Take a closer look at my bar model. What have I done wrong? That's correct. My bar model wasn't split into four equal parts. Here I have shaded in one of the parts to represent one quarter. You don't have to shade in the first part. It could be the second part, the third part, or the fourth part, but I'm going to keep it the first part. Now let's take a look at two eighths. I have drawn a bar model and I have cut it into eight equal parts. But what have I done wrong here? That's right. If we're going to compare the bar models, then the bar models need to be the same size. Now my bar model is cut into eight equal parts. Two of the parts have been shaded, two eighths. So what do you notice when we put these two bar models next to each other? We can now compare and we can see that one quarter is the same as two eighths. One quarter is equivalent to two eighths. We can also say that two eighths is equivalent to one quarter. So pause the video here and have a go at this question. Is six ninths equivalent to two thirds? Draw two bar models, but make sure they are both the same size. So the top bar model shows a bar model split into nine equal parts. Six of the parts are shaded. This time, I shaded in from right to left. The bottom bar model is cut into three equal parts and two of the parts are shaded. Remember, the bar models are the same size. So let's compare the two bar models by putting them next to each other. We can see that both bar models are equivalent. They are the same. So we can say that six ninths is equivalent to two thirds, or two thirds is equivalent to six ninths. Pause the video while you think about this question. Do you agree with Ron and Whitney? Ron says half is equivalent to two thirds because I have added one to both the numerator and denominator. Whitney says half is not equivalent to five tenths because you have added four to the numerator but eight to the denominator. Here we can see that they have used bar models to compare their fractions. Ron has drawn one half and two thirds, and we can clearly see that it is not equivalent. So Ron is incorrect. Whitney has drawn two bar models, one cut into half and one cut into tenths. We can clearly see that one half is equivalent to five tenths, but she was wrong because she said it wasn't. Let's look at this question, odd one out. Which fraction is the odd one out? Do you think 
think it's six ninths because the numerator is not a four? Or do you think it's four six because the numerator is not a nine? Well, we've been looking at equivalent fractions. So pause the video and see if you can work out the odd one. First of all, you would need to draw bar models to represent each of those fractions. Four ninths, six ninths, four sixths. Then put them all together and see what you notice. So if we put all the bar models together, we can see that two of the fractions are equivalent fractions. Therefore, the odd one out is four ninths. This is called a fraction wall. You can see that the first bar model is a whole one. And then the bar models underneath are split into the fractions from half to third to quarter, all the way down to twelfths. We use the fraction wall to help us to find equivalent fractions. Pause the video and have a go to see if you can find any equivalent fractions. Here are a set of questions based on equivalent fractions. Pause the video while you work through these questions. Take care when drawing your bar models to make sure that they are all equivalent. Well done for answering those questions. Now let's look at the answers. Don't forget, if you have any incorrect, please make sure you do your corrections. You're doing a fantastic job. Now remember, email equals dojos. Stay at home and stay safe.